In this video, I'm going to show you how to build the ultimate custom clustered Google Maps Pro Max++ edition. Let's face it, 8 out of 10 apps these days are some kind of a social media app for different groups of people with some extra cool features. And one of the most popular ones is a map view of people or locations. But the Flutterflow default Google Maps widget kinda sucks. So let's build something way better. You'll be able to display thousands of locations and create custom markers on the map using just the Flutterflow editor. Alright, this is a project that's going to be used. It's got authentication, create posts, create profile and a bunch of other features already set up. And I just added a new page called main feed map that's going to show user posts in a map view. Right now it's using the default Flutterflow's Google map, which kinda sucks. So we're going to change it right now. The next step is to open the custom code page and click on add and create a new custom widget. Name it custom clustered map locations. Yeah, that's a great name. Now paste this magic code into the code editor. The link will be in the description. Now click on save widget and Flutterflow will automatically add all of the parameters to the widget settings. Just note that if you don't have a user posts document type, this will have an error, but we'll get back to the code. You have to change some simple stuff. Oh, before we leave this page, we also need to add some pop spec dependencies. The first one is Google Maps Cluster Manager, and the second one is Widget to Marker. Now we head back to the Widget Builder and delete the default Google Maps, this atrocity, and replace it with our own custom clustered map locations plus plus Pro Max. And then we give it infinite width and height and also give it the initial location, which is going to be current location. Now we need to query all the user posts. So we select the parent widget and add a simple query to fetch everything. If in your case, you have a lot of data, like 10,000 reads each time this query is going to be run, just click on this cache option and enable cache on an app level or page level. We'll have a video about this cache management system later on. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be amazing. Now the exciting part. A lot of developers actually wanted a way to create custom markers for their maps, but Flutterflow's default map widget does not allow that, at least on a widget level. So let's head to our iPad view and create two custom components. All right, the first component is going to be map cluster pin. What is it? It's the components that we are going to show on the map when we have more than one pin really close together. So we show them as a cluster widget. So as a parameter, it's going to get a number which shows how many pins are in this cluster. I'm going to speed up this section because it's basic Flutterflow widget building. It's just a container. We are going to make it a circle and give it a width and height, and give it a color and put a text in the center of this container and make it show the parameter the component gets. Really basic. To create the next component, we just duplicate this cluster pin and rename it to map pin. This is each single pin we are going to show on the map. And in our case, we are not going to show a number. We are going to pass it the user post document. So we're going to change that. And then we want to show the post image inside this container. Again, it's super simple. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please click on that subscribe button. We are almost at the thousand subs. My therapist says, if I reach this goal, I'll be happy forever. Here's an extremely important note. If you're not using the default Flutterflow's Google Maps anywhere in your project, you'll need to create a dummy component and add a default Google Maps widget into it. And then head to settings, integrations, and Google Maps. And you wanna fill in these API keys. To do that, you can simply follow the Flutterflow tutorial. It's pretty easy. I think you just need B-Link enabled on your Firebase project. If you don't do this, the custom widget will not work. Probably the hardest part for some people is going to be changing the widget code we just added on the first step. To make our lives a bit easier, I've put these comments that start with a star star change. Just press Command F or Control F and search for it. The first one is collection name. It means which collection document are you going to show on this map. For example, on our app, we are going to use 
user posts. Yours might be dogs or locations or anything else. The formula is to rename the user's post record. So if it's dogs, it will be dogs record. Next one is location field name. It means how you save the location in your document. So in our case, we save location in the location field in user posts. On your app, it might be my location or user lat lng or anything else. Just put the right name over here and over here. The next one is the same. It's just a collection name record. So if you are using dogs record, rename this one to dogs record. The same for the next one. Last but not least, we need to put the map pin widget and the map cluster pin widget over here. If you remember, we created those on our iPad and map pin widget is to show one single record, in this case, user record and map cluster pin is used to show or indicate multiple pins are around this location. So head back to the code and write exactly the component's name plus widget at the end. So it's map cluster cluster pin widget and map pin widget. Then click on the name and press command dot or control dot on Windows and select the first suggestion. And do the same exact thing for this one. Now we can actually run the app and test it. I'm gonna run the app on my iPhone and create some dummy user posts for testing purposes. And there we go. Our own clustered Google Maps integration is now live and working well. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up for the video. See you in the next one.